Hi, and welcome back to We Ride Motos. I'm Glenn. And I'm Carrie. In this episode, we ride up to the little church called Santa Magdalena. Yes. And then the next day, we head out to the Eastern Dolomites. Stay tuned. Yep, so today we head out, we're gonna go just a little ways west of where we are, where we're staying, into uh, the Val de Fumes, something like that. Check Google, he'll tell you. But yeah, so we're gonna go find a little church. So we have to wind our way up through the mountains and, well, I'm using Google Maps and it's, you know, take it with a grain of salt, it's gonna lead us. We ended up going up some little skinny road with some pretty hairy little switchbacks and finally decided that this wasn't the right way to go. So you managed to turn around and yep. headed back down, and I think we went by the place we were supposed we went to turn by a couple of times, a few times, but we finally made it. It yep. wasn't overly well marked. So, anyways, we found a spot by their creek and yep. park. parked the bike, left Pepe behind, yeah. headed out. It's a tiny town. There's yeah. a restaurant, a couple like, houses, it's like a little village, not even yeah. a town. Probably yeah. only 370 people live here. up to the this little church, found the little church. I think it was, was it closed. No, I have a picture of it. Oh. I think they have some art from a local artist. It's kind of funny because it's church, this church is sitting and it, you almost feel like the church is in this farmer's yard. On his yeah, farm, it's right? Definitely, it's right in his yard. Yeah, it's surrounded by farms. And I did see some cows today, but unfortunately there was a sign that said we couldn't go in. Yeah, we just did the hike. And the funny thing was, is we hiked all the way up the mountain. Well, it wasn't up the mountain, up the hill. Got up to the lookout and realized just down the road was where we turned around. We found a nice little spot at the viewpoint and stopped, took a few shots. And Unfortunately, today was pretty smoggy. They have... Well, we're not 100% sure if it's yeah. smog or smoke or what, yeah. but it's, you'll see in some of the photos we take, there's a yeah. kind of a haze. A haze. And... So I'm going to put a couple pictures in what it looks like when there is no smoggy haze. It's and smoggy you'll haze get to see what, see what it looks like. We did a hike. It, it was really quite nice. It went it used some of the little villages roads. It went through meadows at times. Yeah, it, through farmers fields. Yeah, down was, to the river. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah, it, it, was it, good. it was a nice hike. But you end up west of where the bike was, and we had to, we actually had to hike along the bit of the, the road a little ways to get back into town. Yeah, we might have maybe missed the turn. I'm not sure, but uh, but it was it was a really nice day, nice way to spend the day. It was definitely a lot quieter in this area than yesterday oh, yeah. when we were at the Gondola. Yeah, got into town feeling a little peaked or peckish, <laughs> so we went out for 
So what do we have? What do we have there? Did we have those little meatballs? We meatball? had those meatballs. Well, they're not little. They're big. Yeah. Like big but meatballs. But they're called something. But maybe Carrie will find yeah. out what it is and put a title up. But. Yeah. It's, it's kind of a local specialty. They have all these different kind of meatballs made out of different things with different sauces. And yeah. They were really good. They were really good. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so we did that and then jumped on Pepe and yeah. back home for the evening and get ready for tomorrow. We're heading out. Uh, we're going to leave Salva de Gardenia. We're going to head up the Gardenia Pass and over the top. And uh, yeah, so, and it was actually, I really enjoyed this ride up. It was gorgeous, yeah. Just again, just. Uh... Mm, there's the motor, the, the steady trickle of motorhomes and pedal bikes and motorcycles and you know, just all yeah. the stuff. But yeah. you kind of know in this area for sure, as soon as you see certainly pedal bikes and, and motorcycles, you know you're in, a, in for a good ride. If yeah. there's nothing around, eh, it's probably yeah. just going to be kind of, just, yeah. you know, yeah. middle of the road. Yeah, it was very, very, very nice uh, valleys in between all these mountains. At the top of Gardenia Pass, when we got there, we stopped there to have a look in the gift store and there was a cute little church up on the hill, so we went and checked that out. From there, you could look down on the twisty road that we just came up, so there were yeah. some nice views. Um, we watched that. And, uh, yeah. I, uh, we went up to the top and I think yeah. we had a coffee or a snack or something. Yeah. We got our we got our stickers. Yeah, yeah. Each them. pass seems to have yeah. in the gift store a sticker. So for we're that always pass. on the hunt for stickers. As you've probably yeah. seen a picture of the bike somewhere along here, it's pretty loaded. We don't up. have much room to take souvenirs, so usually it's just a sticker. Yeah, yeah. And we came to another pass, I can't remember the name, I'll maybe peg it, and we stopped at this little restaurant, mm. hotel, stopped so, so, a yeah, cup of coffee, but of yeah, we jumped, jumped off the bike and we noticed this cute little lake kind of tucked in behind it, so we had, thought we'd check that out, we did a little hike around it, it was, it was really cute, a nice little hike. Came back and jumped on the bike and headed out and realized. Yeah, I don't think we ever we had a coffee, get a or, coffee snack. or a snack. Yeah. So. Yeah, but but that was kind of a nice little stop along the way. Well, if you know us, we <laughs> we we'll skip meals quite often. So. Yeah.
the interesting thing that was going on today was uh, obviously sports cars. Yes, there was lots but of sports cars. So. There was lots of sports cars. And we were heading down the Paso de Gardena, Gardena Pass, and they were all coming up. Mm. So we had to be on your toes. I mean, they were pretty good. They, were, yeah. they weren't driving too crazy considering they were still Italy and they're in a sports yeah, car. Yeah. And uh, there was motorhomes. There seems to have been still camping season here, so there was a lot of motorhomes on the, yeah. on the move. So <clears throat> yeah. There was a few of those that uh, needed to be passed. Yes, must pass. <laughs> Headed to the eastern Dolomite area, so as we came off the mountain down into that valley, what would be considered the eastern Dolomites, we came... Cortina. 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 Cortina something or other. Yeah, it's going to be the location <laughs> of the 2026 Olympics along with Milan they're hosting. Um, so it's just tucked in this valley. It's very pretty. It'll be a nice location for the Yeah, we just, yeah, and we sports. didn't stop there. We just, today we just rolled through and headed south on the way to our... Yeah, we wrote 15 minutes out of there in our little town two. called Porca, the, Porca the door. something or other. Yeah, just where we stayed for the... Yeah. We stopped for lunch as we were a little early for check-in. We got settled into our room before heading out to check out this little farming town. In the field below, a dad and son were taking their siesta in the shade of the tree. We really like to split our stays between the cities and these small little rural towns. These little rural towns have a lot of character. And like everywhere, the teenagers were excited for the weekend and flipping around. And we had supper. I guess. Yeah. We saw a cow. Yeah. It's on my plate. <laughs> yeah, that was only... It was delicious. <laughs> yeah. I think that's the only picture of the cow I got today. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and that's that's all that was that was the the two days in this episode and they were it was really good. Like the the whole Dolomite area is really mm. nice. And, yeah, I think Glenn had asked a friend about what roads should we go on in the Dolomites when we're there. And you... His answer was all of them. Yeah, or so. you just can't go wrong, right? Yeah, so, it's pretty hard yeah. to go wrong. So so that's where we're going to wrap up today. And uh, in the next episode, we're going to go on probably one of the most well-known hikes in, in this area. I yeah, think. it's one of the most well-known hikes in the Dolomite. Ciao.